All right, hello everyone. Welcome to part 66 of Building a City from Scratch. Now, I've said before that this series may go 100 parts, it may go less, it may go more. It just depends on uh, when I finish. I'm in no rush at all, so this could technically be two thirds way, uh, two thirds through the series if I get to 100 parts, right? And that would be exactly two-thirds through this part here, because then that would be 66.66666, and then you round up somewhere, it'll be 66.7. Between there, you're exactly two-thirds done. But, uh, yeah. Anyways, the first thing you'll see here is uh, traffic uh, going this way. I'm going to, uh, to the neighbor connection. Uh, what I've done is I've basically imported a city. Um, there's a feature for that in the game, if you're not really familiar with it. And um, I basically put another city over here, and uh, it's now acting as kind of like a bedroom community or whatever. I connected it to this highway very roughly. There's nothing really much to show off uh, for that city. So we've got some basic functionality. I don't know if this is fully connected. I don't know if it's working as well as I thought. I know I put in a neighbor connector here, but it's... I might have to do a little bit of work with that, but in the meantime... We got this. So we got about seven, close to seven thousand people going into the city, and about three, four, almost four hundred leaving. At least that's for the morning commute. And the evening commute, yeah, none of these are working either. So I know I have a neighbor connector here, so I might have to just do some things to get it to work. But in the meantime, we've got. Uh, I'm just looking here. Four thousand. Yeah. About 7,500 cars that way, and yeah, about 375 that way, so more or less close to what it is each way. So that's cool. So I've got basically another high, um, another city on each side of the highway. So over on the, over to the east there's a city, and over to the west of course there's a city. Uh, to the north and south they're still empty. But um, anyways, I'm going to call this part Plopsville. Why am I calling it Plopsville? Because I'm going to do a lot of plopping. Uh, before I do that, though, I should probably turn shadows off. I was just doing a, f a couple screenshots and stuff. And I like I like to have shadows on for that. But during recording, it's not the best thing. And I should also... I really should have thought of this before. But I'm going to set priority to real-time. And set the... This to, to real-time. And, uh... And this... Yeah. So that way, you know... Recording is good. Um, as you also notice, this is just bumper to bumper. It's just getting to be too much here. Um, but that's just the simulator. I think the it just just looks like that for the simulator because it refers to road capacity in the simulator. If I was to actually go to traffic, I wonder how it shows. See how it's green? See, it, this is kind of just a fool. It just looks busy, but the, it, the highway can still handle a whole lot. You can see traffic congestion is getting pretty bad here, but. I'm kind of diverting from the from the part. You're finally going to see some downtown development now. And so what I plan to do... This is still under development too, the, uh, the center medians and stuff, so I'll keep that empty for now. As I plan to go through my landmarks folder and just plop whatever I think looks good wherever I think it looks good. So I'm sure there'll be a lot of critics, a lot of people beating me up for stuff, so I will... Um, Definitely take your feedback into consideration if you think I should download something or move something or say something's bad. Feel free. I really appreciate the uh, the feedback, especially constructive criticism, because that's what got uh, this ramp here fixed right before I just had like a 45 degree curve. I myself didn't like the the original design, and I knew I always wanted to fix that. But to get the fractional angle stuff in there, I would have never thought of that. And even though I've used the real highway for almost eight years now. Yeah, I started using it in 2005. Um, you know, it's just an experienced user. Feedback's always appreciated. This looks pretty busy too. Yeah. Again, it's just appearance, right? Because it, it refers to road capacity, and of course a highway has a lot more capacity than a road. But I like, I like it busy. That's what I built it for. <laughs> to look good and to function well. So this is my first plop. I think I've already got one of those somewhere in the city. Looking for some unique stuff. Preferably the, um, not a landmark version, but a commercial office space. Ooh, one of these things. These are, I think this one's from Hong Kong. I think it actually says that. 
Yeah, Hong Kong Prince of Wales building. In case anybody's interested in the names, I know last time I kind of did a few pops, uh, people were asking the names and stuff, so I'll try to be... Um, I'll try to, sh to, to show, the, show you what they are. I don't normally go plop crazy, but um, this time I think I will. I think that looks good there, unless I find another good home somewhere else. That's kind of good too. Which do I like better? This kind of fills the void here that I needed, so... I'll put that there for now. Of course I can always tweak around. This is a brown box. I thought I'd get rid of all the brown boxes things, but I guess not. I wonder if the landmark's any better. Nope. Alright, next up I've got a lot of Hong Kong stuff. Really tight little building here. It's really not that little. This one, in case anybody's wondering, is called the Standard Chartered Bank Building in Hong Kong. I guess all my Hong Kong stuff is up number one. In my personal opinion, I think that Hong Kong has the world's greatest skyline. And I'd, uh, I'd love to visit it one day. Kind of like it, kind of like it here. Kind of gets rid of that thing too, so, yeah. So yeah, in my opinion, I think it has the world's greatest skyline. You can definitely argue that other cities um, are good. Of course, everybody likes New York and What else has a good skyline? Moscow is emerging a good one too. Dubai is a little over the top. Aurora Plaza, this is another Hong Kong style building. This would look good along the riverfront. Maybe I can kind of sneak that over here or something. These ones, um, these buildings here, see what it says Heineken and Coca-Cola and stuff? These aren't, like it's, this isn't SimCity 2013 where companies actually make their own stuff that you can download for free but in the nighttime um, it will actually display those so I don't know if it'll actually work right when I did it now and of course the game's freezing up on me but sometimes they light up no, I don't see it yet but anyways that's the effect the effect is during night you'll get the Blade Runner look or Kim Jong-il from Team America uh, or Coca-Cola or whatever, so... I don't know. Should I put a beer sponsor? Probably not. Let's put Kim Jong-il! Why? Because I really liked him in America. I think that's one of one of my favorite movies. It's really funny. If you haven't seen Tim America, go see it. I think I like it so much because I used to watch a show, uh, show called Thunderbirds as a kid, and it was kind of like the same style. It was all marionettes with, like, over-the-top inventions and stuff going out there to save the world. And this Team America was kind of used it for inspiration. It was marionettes, it was over the top. They thought they were saving the world, or at least trying to police the world. I think I already got one of these Apple things. I don't know, I think it works there. Again, I'm not much of an Apple guy myself. That may be due to the fact that Blackberry HQ is really close to me. It's about an hour's drive away. And when I was growing up, everybody had Blackberries. I was like the only kid with a with a Samsung. I had a flip phone when I was a little kid. Well, I shouldn't say a little kid. I don't know what I'm looking for here. Just grass filler. Probably be a bus stop or something here. Um, so I'm going to keep looking for stuff. Ooh, this one's kind of... It's modular, right? Like, it, can, it overhangs? So this might have a good home here, but it, I doubt it. So there's a fractional angle road here. I wonder if I can find a way to get it to fit. Nah. Well, it would look okay there. Oh, it would look okay. There it kind of goes over. Nah. Sometimes just trying to find it at home is good. Will it look good there? Uh, 
This is kind of cornered here. I don't really see a good fit for it. This is fractional angle here. Could go there, but it over... Nah, I don't know. That's just me being picky. Not everything has to go, right? I'm just kind of clicking around. It's the Pearl River Tower. It's a monstrosity, this thing. I love how it completely blocks the other building I just plopped. Maybe if I was to rotate it the other way, it wouldn't. But I think that's a solid home for it for now. Is that the one? No, I want the one with jobs, of course. wonder how many things people this applies. Could be up to 10,000. No wrong way, you dingus. Yeah, 4,500. Seems a little low. And what do we got here? The Bank of SimCity Plaza. I think this is based off a building in Chicago. I don't really like it. I don't think its style really blends in with the theme of this city. But, of course, that will change if I can find a home for it, right? I'm going to go through a lot of plops right now, so... I can definitely come back to it. So that is the Bank of Some City Plaza. This is the West Nitron Center. Looks like it's based off of something in L.A., maybe? This reminds me of the Library Tower in L.A. Either that, I've just been playing too much Grand Theft Auto V. That building is everywhere. You can see it from almost anywhere in the game. I know I'm going to be a little finicky looking for plops and stuff, but... Can you really blame me? Man, this one employs, what, 3,000 people. I don't know, I guess that's a good spot for now. PDA Headquarters. Really looks okay. I've been downloading stuff since 2005, right? So I've got a lot of stuff in my plugins that I thought would look good at the time. This doesn't confirm... I shouldn't conform to my, uh, my city at all. This one was called... Cathedron Tower. This is Summit. This is tall. By zooming out this far, I'm risking a crash. But I like it. It's, And this is where I want tall buildings, right? So, you know, it's a good fit. If you're, if you're building tall buildings, you build them downtown. I do like it. But where, oh where, is a good home for it? Right on the water's edge, maybe? Number of homes for that. Next is 888 7th Avenue. 1800 jobs. about half, less than half the height of the other building. I'm gonna zoom back in. I don't really need to be that far out for now. Uh, let's see. I'm gonna be finicky, but I want things to be built how I want them to be built really no other way for me to explain it, really. Seems like a decent fit. If I can find a good home for it, that is. If I put it there, it looks kind of short compared to the other one. The architecture doesn't really match either. This is kind of a futurist. Uh, look to it. I don't know. Maybe here. Next, I already have this somewhere. I already got that one somewhere. 
No, I, do I just... Okay, looks like I'm missing all the pl all the props for that one. Uh, don't really like the look of this one. BMW headquarters. I like how it just sneaks in there. Maybe a little... Not that way. Can't really see it. I don't know, something like that maybe for now. Park Avenue Plaza building. It's definitely small. I like the look of it. Maybe there? The exchange. This is a this is a standby. I've had this in my plugins folder forever. It's a really thin class. Like I don't know if it's three separate towers or that. No, I don't know. I've had it for a long time. Oh, it's a perfect fit here. Can't really go wrong with that. That one employs what? Twenty two hundred people. Medium wealth. I've already got one of these somewhere. Of course, I want to build a public square somewhere too. What is this? Looks familiar. Darko Inc. It almost looks like it, want, it wants to fit this way, right? So I just need to find a good home for it. Maybe there at the edge of the highway? It, it is connected, so it's there's no worry there. Seven World Trade Center. This one is kind of built on an angle. This is the new Seven World Trade Center, not the old one. I know that I, I, around uh, September 11th or whatever, I was watching something about like a whole conspiracy theory about uh, how Seven World Trade Center uh, was like a whole there was like a whole plot to like take it down or something. Crazy stuff. Fox Tower. I don't know, good home here. That's the Beijing Olympic Stadium. It does exist. I don't know, put that here. This one, in case anybody was wondering, is Marina Residence. So that one's actually, um... It says R... Resid maybe R is in residential, but it looks like it's jobs. So that was programmed wrong. This one's got like a huge jumbotron on it. I've had this one for a while too. If I put it here, block a lot of those cosmetic things, but I think it looks cool there. But I should really put it in a spot where it can be noticed by people, right? Because no sense having a big screen there if nobody can see it. I just don't know where else would be a good home. Maybe if I can remember, I'll come back to it. But I'll stick it there for now, so I can have LG or I can have a stock... Some guy doing the news or whatever. Talk about an ad for LG. And maybe that's a real news station. Looks like it's in Chinese or Japanese. Maybe Korean, I'm not sure. I should really learn the fonts for those different languages. This is a really old gritty building, like an original downtown. It just says blank. The other one was Tower Plot G5 Tower Ploppable. Is that a 5 or an S? It's an S. GS Tower Ploppable. This looks like something out of Detroit or something. Be a good spot for maybe like a communist style city. If you've ever if you ever check out like city journals on Centropolis, like there are some just gems. And the, the communist if you're looking for like a communist one, Black Sea Union. You have to check that out. Go to Centropolis, type in Black Sea Union. 
I think that's what it's called. This one's also got an old cell phone ad on it. And a helipad. I don't know if I like the helipad. It seems a little over the top. Uh, next one is Bank of America or something. Don't really like the look of it. I got plenty of landmarks. PDA Bank of America Plaza. Next is the Gomi Liren Tower. Seems like a good fit. Maybe not. Maybe I'll put it on the other side. That's a little bit better. So it's a whole bunch of like different towers and mashed in with different angles and stuff. I don't know. Looks kind of cool. Wells Fargo Center. J.P. Stevens Company Tower. Uh, it's kind of a generic office building, isn't it? And of course, once I'm done plopping, I'll zone, I'll zone the rest, so you'll have more interesting buildings grow. Don't know if I can find a home. It's just a generic office building, really. Eh, I'll move on. Clark Tower. Really s slender building. Can you almost plop two of them over on the side here? Eh, definitely has some possibilities. Not bad there. I'm not saying that that's going to be final. Next is Harbor View Plaza. It's not too big. Cool architecture. Might look good there. Um, kind of like it there. Or, oh, I like it better on that side, actually. Maybe have it face the other way. Oregon Convention Center. That fits perfectly here. It's good to have a convention center in downtown anyway, right? I don't know if I have that somewhere else. It kind of banks on the front of the road. I don't like that big white texture, but yeah. I kind of like it. Could be like, you could... Also, I could also fit it here, maybe like on the big mall. Does that look better there? I think so. Especially if it's convention center, there's people people who kind of do stuff here. And also, like, cars can park on the side because it's such a, a wide road. Stop and go cars or whatever. I like it there. Good to have a convention center downtown. Next is the Trump International Hotel and Tower. I've already got this somewhere. But, if it's a good fit... Might be worth a second look. I like the green. Doo -doo. I'm gonna be spending a lot of money here too. Cause some of these buildings cost a lot. Maybe it'll look good up here with all the really tall stuff. But then these guys are looking at just a bunch of windows. It's definitely some density there. I just need to remember when I'm when I'm doing this. I just need to remember that there's there's room here, right? I'll put it there for now. Of course, I can always get rid of it. There's another national swimming center, something a little bit smaller. If I ever want that, seems like a good filler. Maybe a plaza. Actually, you know what? I'll put it in for the time being. It's good to have some squares, right? Especially in the, the nice wide tree line thing. You can do festivals there or whatever. You could even put like a double one if you wanted to. Too bad the circles don't line up. The, it's, it's based off the water cube in Beijing. It's probably my favorite venue, Olympic venue ever made. 
And they converted it, if you ever go to Beijing, um, they converted it into like a really cool water park. I don't know if it's the world's largest water park, but uh, it's it's cool. I'd love to go there if I visit. Actually, I have a buddy of mine's in Beijing right now. I've already got that one somewhere. What's this? The Cobb Tower. Okay, for a second there, I thought I was missing the plops. That looks cool, doesn't it? I have to face the other way, maybe. It blocks all that sign work that I've done, though. Better. I think I'll put it there for now. Just fill the backside up with some trees or whatever. Continuing. Frog face something or other. Looks like the flaps are missing. Frog face made some great stuff. Academy Awards Theater or something. This would be nice to have on uh, the nice wide boulevard, right? Kind of like the Chinese Theater in Hollywood, maybe? Maybe? I don't know. Next is a construction plop. These are always cool to have. Mostly just for screenshots, though. It looks better than, like, the in-game construction or whatever. Not here, though. Campbell Mitham Tower. Uh, I don't know. I think I'll pass. Maybe not. It kind of looks good between the ramps here, right? Which way? That way or this way? Probably that way. That's that's kind of cool. Because I'm going to keep this perspective and stuff, right? So I've got five tiles there to develop stuff. The construction. Marble Tower is another good old standby that I've had for many years since I first started modding. It's really tiny too, so you can fit like a whole bunch of them. If space is tight and you want like a lot of office density or whatever. I also remember I was talking in the last part that I might keep this highway going or whatever, but I'm just I'm trying to remember that it's a municipal expressway, so I really don't need smooth curves or anything. I'll keep it as it is. Maybe do another exit over here somewhere. And next is the Blue Rock Building. Don't really like the look of this one. Not sure why I downloaded it. Another marble tower. This is the original marble tower. It's got a plaza in front. It would be good if it was just an extra tile there, but I can always do something to it. So, for example, if I was to plop this here, what would it look like? Eh, it's okay. It's not great. It does fit here. I actually like it going the other way. Why do both buildings want to be demolished? No, no, no. Just demolish the one. Why? Why, 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 what? Ah! Don't tell me. I got a bug here. This is extremely rare. Can I plop stuff on top of it? No. I can't dezone. Sometimes a quick train lower thing might get rid of it. No. Looks like I'm stuck with a plaza or something. It might fix itself the next time I load the game, but that's just an error. It gets on my nerves a little bit. That just sucks. It, it, it happens. I don't know if there's a full, complete way to get rid of it, but... 
Sometimes it works for me, sometimes it doesn't. I'll worry about that later, though. Just keep going here. I think I've got a few of these elsewhere, but it looks, looks like a good fit here. Oh! People want to know the name. Lakeshore Views. Did they give you the view? Yeah, it was Marble Tower, right? So I'm gonna keep going here. Global Office Center. It's a big one. Maybe it's a good fit in this last spot over here. I got a big cluster of buildings here. And a room here for maybe subways or whatever. I don't know, I'll keep it for now. Uh, I should probably say I, I want to save the game. I should, if I save the game and came back, it's kind of late, but I just don't want to crash. And then I have to re-plop all this stuff, because it'll always be different. So I'll save the game for now. And then uh, come back, keep plopping. This building here reminds me of the Ball House. Does anybody who's studied uh, any kind of modern architecture probably familiar with that building? A lot of modernist designs and stuff came from that. Until the Nazis closed it. Damn Nazis. This is a beast. Another LG ad. Where did I download, download some of this stuff from? It's like LG's corporate website. I don't think it's a good fit. Moving on. Seven World Trade Center landmark version. Don't need that. This is... A cool orange building. It's called... Osaka... Maribru? I'm assuming it's from Osaka. I don't know. Does it look good there? I don't know, maybe put it there for now. Next we've got Morgan Tower. Ah, I don't really like it. Hang on, things are going... Oh, okay. I thought there was maybe a crash there for a second. Next, Lakeshore Views, the Bay Gate. That's a really tiny... Somebody messed up the scaling in that. That looks so out of scale. It looks like a miniaturized... I think it should be like four times bigger. Next is the Park Hyatt Plaza, Chicago. Probably from Chicago. It's quite tall. Maybe I can find a home for it somewhere. This road could be extended. Maybe what I'll do in the meantime is just kind of do this. Right. It could come down this way or do that, but just so I have it as a... Just a tool of where to, where to lay stuff, because I could put something here, right? This would be one that could look cool on the waterfront, so maybe I'll put it there for now. More marble towers and stuff. J.P. Stevens Company Tower. I already did that one. Portsmouth Tower. Uh, kind of looks like... Uh, maybe nothing I need here. Definitely give it a shot in case... something. I want something here that'll look good. Next is the Anderson Tower. Kind of generic, but I like it. I like the design. Looks good there. So I'll put it there. Next is the Bay Gate. Oh, not that again. Next is the Highlander Hotel. Not bad, not bad. Could be a contender on the... on the boulevard thing here, right? Maybe I'll put it there for now. Yeah, it seems like a good choice. Next is Freshka Towers. Don't like it. It's just remodeled Max's stuff. 
Next is the West Nitron Center. I've already got that one. Landmark version. Next is the Port Tower. Chirpa Port Tower. It's quite a small tower for a big amount of room. Maybe I can find a good home for it. Could be a good contender in this area if there's buildings plopped all the way around it, right? I don't know, put it there for now, maybe? Hey, Hollywood sign, of course not. Crystal Tower. It's kind of generic. Might be a good fit somewhere. Might have been a good fit here. Doesn't fit. Ah, da da da. Plopsville, Plopsville. It does fit here. I don't know, what do you think? It's kind of generic. But it does fit there. I'll keep it for now. Lake City Tower, this is one from Dubai. It's one of the shorter buildings from Dubai, actually. It's a good fit there. I like it. Maybe move it the other way. Alright, right. next I have California Plaza. This is a good old plaza standpoint. Oh, it looks good there. I've always liked this building. I think it... California Plaza, in addition to the Major League Stadium, is one of the best looking Maxis buildings in the game. It's a good fit. It's a perfect fit here. I want to see where else. It's a good fit there. Good fit, good fit. Having a plaza like this is kind of good too. Right, it could take its form as like a food court or whatever as well. So it could go that way or it could go this way. Let's go the other way. I I just like the I like the design of that. That one's already in the game. Next is the Blam in SimCity's Tower. Oh, Blam, I miss Blam. From what I remember, this is a huge building. Oh, jeez. Well, if you want skyscrapers, this is the one for you. Doesn't even fit in any of the grid lines that I have, and I made them very generously, very, very large. Doesn't even fit in this one here. Could be a fit here. I don't know, I guess I'll plop it here for now. It's a good tribute to Blam. 22,000 workers, close to 23,000. It's huge! Yeah, Blam kind of faded away. They had their own website at one point. It almost fits here too. Um, their their um, their leader, quote unquote leader, uh, actually passed away, which was kind of sad. Heart attack or something. I don't know, but the team kind of fell apart and integrated with some other ones afterward. I like Blam. It's like days 2006, maybe 2007. Uh, these are kind of generic Maxis stuff. The Living Mall could find a good home there. Could find a good home here. I don't know. Could, could, could. Woulda, coulda, shoulda. Uh, I don't know. Kind of like it on the edge here. That'd be kind of cool. Have it maybe face that way. Eh. No, no. I'll continue. Twin, 21. I think I have this in the other part. The other area of the city. K-E-P-O building. Don't like it at all. It's got like a barcode on the top. Oh, is this the one when you plop it gets taller? Yeah. Not a, Not a good fit here. Next, they're like the crazy tall buildings I downloaded, these futuristic things. This is just ridiculous. So that's the Anzar Zerver 3, 1.4 kilometers tall. And then the next one's 2.1 kilometers tall, and it's just a bunch of brown boxes. And the next one is 3.7 kilometers tall, and it's a brown bunch of brown boxes, but it looks like it'll still build. If you're going for futuristic creations, 
That's what you want. Hyundai dealership, probably don't need that downtown. 25 Canada Square, this is from London, England. Uh... Keep going, keep going. City Point, $12? What a deal. I kind of like this one. This one might be a good choice to put in the middle, maybe. Maybe. Maybe? Ah, uh, no. Could be a good fit somewhere else. Don't know if this is going to be an actual thing. I kind of like it there. I'll put it there. Next one London place from my hometown of London, Ontario. Gotta put this somewhere. Looks like it's a good fit there. Tallest building in Ontario, anyway. Ontario, Canada, outside of Toronto. Good spot for bus stops and whatever there. And this was made by, uh, I think, just another sim or something. Twin is proposed as well. I don't know if it'll be as tall. Uh, da -da. Drapez Clamir. Another old gritty style building if you want like a historic downtown kind of feel. Didn't we already hear that song? Uh... I still gotta put in a city hall, don't I? Aircraft carrier? Well, I put in a giant cruise ship. Why not a giant aircraft carrier? I kind of touch there. Why not? It'd probably barely fit underneath that bridge. It's just stuff for why not. I was looking at some pictures today of the new U.S. aircraft carrier. It's like the government's broke, but they can afford a... I don't know how expensive that aircraft carrier is. Somewhere in the billions, probably. What's it called? Like the Ronald Reagan? I wonder when, if we'll ever see battleships return one day. In terms of naval warfare. I think I already have this plop somewhere. Next, 110 Cannon Street. It's a good little filler building. Uh, let's see. Could be a good fit there. Could be a good... No, I don't like it there. I nicked a piece of sound wall out there by accident. Uh, hopefully it doesn't look too bad when I'm panning around like this. Don't really see a good home for that. Next is Quay Sale or something. This is just preliminary rounds of plopping, right? Just trying to find good homes for buildings that look good. Eh, I'm not pick particularly picky about that one. These are smaller cruise ships, I know. Why not? Next is Panther Panthros Tower, Bank of Kelpie. I think I finally got a good fit there. It blocks the sign, but I like it. I wonder how many of the people that one employs. Oh, it's just a landmark. Ah, oh, whatever. Next. Blue place. I've already got those ones growing somewhere. That was Somi. Samsung. Nah, I don't like it. Royal Bank of Bennett. Good fit anywhere. I don't particularly see a good fit anywhere here. I think I'll pass. 
Times Square. That'd be good if I had like a nice fork on the road. I think I have a fork on the road in another spot. Could be a good location here too. Oh, I kind of want to put this in somewhere. I just don't know where. I'll probably come back to it. Yeah, two times square. Next is Manchinto de Sandad. Eh, I don't really like it. Next, 54 Hergley Road. That's a good fit. I like I like that. It's kind of a good, like, government-style office building that you have on this edge of the road. I think that's a really good fit. Would it look better plopped the other way? Eh, uh, maybe even this way or that way. No, I just like it how it is. But there is a sidewalk. A wide sidewalk on the other side. Let's... I'm gonna, ro I'm gonna rotate this halfway. Yeah, see how, it's, how, see how it has the sidewalk here and not cars entering? I kind of like that a bit better. It's too bad that it's not sandstone, but what you know, sandstone, but whatever. I like it. Where was I? I don't even know where I was here. Oh, that, I guess it was that one. Okay. Uh, Cobalt Square, Birmingham. Another good filler building. I, I kind of like it. Maybe there? Maybe here or there or somewhere? Uh, da -da. Downtown's taking shape, though. I've already got the Bank of Canada somewhere. Robertson Architectural. It's kind of tall. I kind of like it. I'll pass for now. I need, like, really big lots to fill this up, and I'm coming to them. And this is the same cruise ship, except it's green. Partial land and partial water. No, I'll just go all the way water. I don't know. Sure, why not? It's the same as this, except it's... Uh... It's green instead of blue. I think it's the only difference between the two. Next is Castle Mead, Bristol, the tallest building in Bristol, England. It's not really that tall, but it does look interesting. Uh, da, da, da. We've got some mid-price buildings here. I like this little cluster of stuff. Maybe put it there. Another construction lot, Churchill Plaza. Another good standby that I like. These look really good when paired, too. Maybe just put it there for now? Next up, City Tower. It definitely does say City Tower. I kind of want to put it somewhere. Maybe put it there? See how it says, <laughs> it says City Tower. <laughs> it's true to its word. Next, L... IML Insurance Building. It's got a nice little rooftop. Looks like something good on the waterfront. I haven't really made much waterfront stuff yet, but... Maybe put it there. I'll have a road kind of going around the side. No bike path or anything here, this is downtown. Well, probably should still have one. I'll worry about that later. Next is Park Inn. Tennis courts and stuff, so it's similar to the Hong Kong building. I kind of like it there. Maybe I should extend it all the way out. Tennis courts on one side and then the other. Yeah, I like it there. Could even go here or there or anywhere. 
We already got the Fuji TV building somewhere. NTT Tamako building. Don't like it. Next. The Spin Naker Tower. Tallest building in the UK outside of London. It's a good, like, architectural thing, right? Might be something good, maybe, for the university, but I haven't really got there yet. I don't know. Not now. I already did these guys. Where am I now? Holland and Judd Administrative Building. Kind of generic, but I like it. Ooh, it even has an entrance here. The slope got a little messed up here. I wonder if I can make up for it. wants a transit-enabled road, so it doesn't work quite right there. Maybe I can find another home for it somewhere. Eh, just put it here. Or I can make it kind of go this way and have a road kind of stick out and go that way. Sure. Because why not? I just hate how it's a piece of avenue and there's a thing here, but whatever. It's something to mix it up. Maybe a bus stop there later, too. Next up, Royal... Bren... It's in the Serens Tower. It's definitely quite small. I think I can do better. Highway light towers, don't need that. It's my life insurances! That's the same thing I had. Uh, Plaza Mall, that's Brown Boxville. This one required a crap load of dependencies that I just lost over time. Ooh, this is another building on, uh, on an angle. Maybe it'll look good here. It's half decent. Maybe better on this angle. Just got that stupid thing sticking out the side there. Maybe on the fractional angle would be something good. No. It would look great there if it wasn't for that stupid piece that sticks out. White House? This could be City Hall. <laughs> and that's kind of an old historic thing. Wait, this is the other aircraft carrier. May as well pop that too, why not? I can always get rid of them, right? Washington Monument. Apparently it's been closed since there was like an earthquake last year. It was a little earthquake, but it shifted it. And made it kind of a structural danger. What's this? Oh. That's kind of nice. Kinda. Probably look better if I can find a home for it. That's kind of nice. Would look okay here too. I think I'll keep it there. The Polaris Tower, 3,900 meters. <laughs> it's a land, it's a brown box. Next is another thing. Well, this is kind of like a dock. Might be good for a port area if you ever build one. Make it load to the carriers or whatever, I don't know. Next, CIS Tower. Uh-oh, 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 no! Well, that kind of sucks, but I did save it for a little while. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, 
Kind of just got some ideas there. It's going to keep plopping around. I think I had a save not too long ago, but I'm sure I'll find out when I start up the next part. So hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you have any more recommendations, please feel free to share them with me. Have a good one.